Welcome to Dark 10. Today, we're going to go over 10 scary true crime stories that deserve a movie. Make sure to watch until number 1, because it's one of the most creepiest true crime stories I've ever read. Number 10. H. H. Holmes. Tale often, people claim that Holmes's body count is between 27 and 200. How can it be possible? The most straightforward response is that Holmes constructed a hotel in a large and crowded part of Chicago for that specific purpose. It was referred to as the murder castle at the time. But for Holmes, no one knew the entire building's architecture as it was being constructed piecemeal over the years. A few of the features of this hotel include doors that only open from the outside, wall to allow suffocation, trap doors that open and allow people to be crushed, and acid-soaked chutes wide enough to contain anyone or place a person inside the large furnaces were present. Number 9. The Winchester House. One of the most interesting houses in the United States is the Winchester Mansion Winchester's widow expected the spirits to rise up for revenge. For the better part of her life, she constructed a mansion in Northern California she allegedly thought that constant change would keep spirits away from doing her harm. At all, it is meaningless. It offers glimpses into other rooms as well as outsides. Doors and stairs that are wasted space in today's dollars. The house was an attraction for $75 million was invested within five months of her 83rd birthday, having a heart attack. Watch the house from the episode on TV. Number 8. Elisa Lam. The story of Elisa Lam's death has gained significant attention because of its strange circumstances. You can learn more about all the known facts at the Vigilant Citizen website A 21-year-old student went missing early this year. Her maintenance worker was found in the rooftop water tank with the following complaints. Lamb's final moments on the hotel surveillance tape were captured on film. You've just got to watch it to believe how many people are into ranting and raving about it. Remember, no drugs or alcohol traces were found in the autopsy. The silent twins. The brothers. Jennifer and June found solitudes that drove them away from the rest of the family and into despair. As girls, they didn't speak anybody else's. They constantly sought each other's affection, and often killed one another in passion. They started to be notorious for burglary and arson, which earned them the psychopath label. They were incarcerated in Broadmoor Hospital when they were 14 years old. Later, she was contacted by a writer, Marjorie Wallace. They confessed they could never be unique if the other existed, to her. Jenny told Wallace, I'm done for. We've made up our minds. And after their move to a lower security prison, Jennifer decided to enjoy her newfound independence. Incredibly strange to say the least. Number 7. The Silent Twins. The story. There is a mountain in Russia named Dead Mountain because of the scarcity of wildlife in the Ural Mountains. Saves Link why would you want to go to such a place in February of 1959 is beyond me. But yes, that's what nine skiers did the lost party's possessions, including their shoes, had been left behind. Following the shoelaces that led to the jungle, they found five corpses, some in their underpants. When the thaw came along two months later, the bodies were discovered. However, unlike their mates, who were thought to have died of hypothermia, these people had strange, but equally deadly injuries, such as skull fractures and severe trauma. The crash which is alleged to have caused this level of damage has prompted a wide-ranging theories. This appears in the short history film above. Number 6. Death in the Dyatlov Pass. It was Belle Elmore, a mediocre opera singer Cora Elmore was Dr. Holly's wife. Tragically, her greatest fame was due to the unusual circumstances of her death. The Crippens, with all their wit and fame, did not do anything but battle. Missing after a quarrel on 31 January, 1910 he was certain that Cora had left. However, Williams's colleague thought something fishy, and so did she. As Dr. Crippen welcomed his assistant, the pretty young Ethel Neve, he started wearing Cora's jewelry and mink coat. When Scotland Yard showed up at his house, he had fled. But it was found in his basement, and it was on the cops. Neve was sighted on a boat heading to Canada, and Crippen was also found in the luggage. Number 5. The Disappearance of Belle Elmore. It was Belle Elmore, a mediocre opera singer Cora Elmore was Dr. Holly's wife. Tragically, her greatest fame was due to the unusual circumstances of her death. The Crippens, with all their wit and fame, did not do anything but battle. After an argument on New Year's Eve, she disappeared in 1910. He was certain that Cora had left. 
However, Williams's colleague thought something fishy, and so did she. As Dr. Crippen welcomed his assistant, the pretty young Ethel Neve, he started wearing Cora's jewelry and mink coat. When Scotland Yard showed up at his house, he had fled. But it was found in his basement, and it was on the cops. Neve was sighted on a boat heading to Canada, and Crippen was also found in the luggage. Number 4. The Doodler. Deceptive tale of an uncaught serial killer. He eviscerated the gay neighborhoods of San Francisco in the 70s as Tenderloin. During the month of September of 1974, the doodler was suspected of killing 14 people. He received his nickname from his peculiar manner of approaching his subjects at bars. But if this was only a passing fling, life dramatically changed for the artist, grotesquely mutating their bodies. Still, why did the doodler escape with only three surviving witnesses? Many of his victims are assumed to be gay men, whether they're out or in the closet. It is said that these are high-profile people who are both diplomats and entertainers who are too afraid to reveal their true sexuality in a homophobic culture the doodler remains unidentified. Number 3. Doggy Suicides at Overton Bridge. The Overton Bridge in Scotland has been referred to as breathtaking, sitting upon a picturesque landscape. However, it's the location where many dog suicides occurred. For the last 50 years, 50 dogs have leapt to their demise. Most of these jumpers have leapt from the bridge's upper right-hand railing. Finally, all of the deceased animals had long-nosed animals like labs, setters, and retrievers. Some say the bridge is haunted, and that it's a suicide. After all, Overtune is a place where this world and the next are supposedly meet. Number 2. Who put Bella in the White Elm? It all started on April 18, 1943 when four young boys snuck into the Hagley Woods, an East Sussex area which has terrified the locals for generations. While climbing the tree, they came across a human skeleton. And though the police knew they were doing it, the body was uncovered, they got called in to give testimony. The body of a young woman found in a Y elm tree was mistakenly assumed to be that of a witch elm. Her body was discovered without a hand. Number 1. The Most Haunted House in America. MTV's American Horror Story. The goings inside the Congal mansion might well be called spine-tinging Charles Wright, his wife, and their maid. Essie were located on the street called 1129th Avenue in Pittsburgh and things started to go downhill from there Lida discovered her parents in flagrante delicto and stabbed and beheaded him. This was just the start of this house's issues. The coming of Dr. Adolf Bruner. He ignited a bomb in the house, which caused nearby windows to shatter, and led to a police raid where they found his shocking gooist experiments. When Thomas Edison got there, the ghost stories aroused his interest, trying to use one of one of his inventions to talk to the dead. Subscribe Dark 10 and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos of creepy, interesting, or scary facts and much more. Check out this playlist of my Dark 10 videos of crime and killers and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.